हेलो एवरी वन लेट स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ एडवांस वेब डिजाइनिंग दैट इज नेस्टेड लिस्ट एंड आई फ्रेम फर्स्ट वी लर्न अबाउट दस्टेड लिस्ट लिस्ट विद इन अनदर लिस्ट आई दर ऑर्डर लिस्ट और अनऑर्डर लिस्ट इज नोन एज नेस्टेड लिस्ट देर आर टू लेवल ऑफ नेस्टेड लिस्ट सिंगल लेवल नेस्टेड लिस्ट एंड मल्टी लेवल नेस्टेड लिस्ट we can see the program of the single level nested list and multi level nested list one by one so let's start this is our single level nested list program Let's begin with the doc type HTML, which represent this is HTML document, HTML tag, head tag, title tag. Inside the title, write down single level nested list title tag close, head tag close, body BG color yellow, text blue. Now. here we have to use both the list that is order list and unordered list so check in the output this is single level nested list is the title then this is body section inside that pg color is yellow text is equals to blue and then here are two list you can see here this first list is ordered list Which have type is equals to one, or by default it is one two three. And the second list is an ordered list with the type is circle. So let's start with the list, ordered list. Here I'm not writing type attribute, so by default it takes one two three. Then li tag, chapter one, li tag close, li tag, chapter two, li tag close. Li tag chapter three. Li tag close. These are the three list item of the ordered list. And then close OL tag. Now inside ordered list, after chapter one, we can see here there is an ordered list. So after chapter one, Li tag, we use UL tag. Here we use style attribute is equals to in the double quote. List hyphen style hyphen type colon circle double quotes complete angular bracket complete. It means U L tag have in circle list circle form of list. Then L I section one L I tag close L I section two L I tag close. Li section three, Li tag close, and then close our UL tag. This is the single level nested list. The list inside another list, okay, is known as single level nested list. To complete the program, close the body tag and close the HTML tag, and save this program with the name single level dot HTML. Now, next is our multi-level nested list. Now, for the multi-level nested nested list, again we start with the program with the doc type HTML. Next, HTML tag, head tag. Then title tag, title with multi-level nested list. You can see here. Title tag close. Head tag close. Now in the body section, body tag. PG color is equals to yellow. Text is equals to blue. So you can see in the output, PG color is yellow. Text color is blue. Now here you can check in the output. There is. First ordered list that is one two three. 
the list items are chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 in the chapter 1 there is a an order list with the section 1 section 2 section 3 for the chapter 2 again there is second an order list section 1 section 2 section 3 and then in the section 1 there is order list introduction and differentiation so there are multiple inheritance of list. That's why it is called multi-level nested list. So, let's start with the program order list. Again here, not any type attribute written. So, the list is in the form 1, 2, 3. The list items, li tag, chapter 1, li tag close. Second list item. Chapter 2, Li tag close. Third, Li, Chapter 3, Li tag close. And close oval tag. These are the three list items of our first order list. Next, inside the chapter 1, we have to create an order list. So, you will type is equals to circle. So, you can see here the type is a circle. And then next, the three list items are there. Li section 1, Li tag close, Li section 2, Li tag close, Li section 3, Li tag close and then close the UL tag. So till here our unordered list is completed. Now next in the chapter 2 there is again one unordered list. So inside the chapter 2 create an unordered list. Again type is equals to circle. Then there are three list items Li section 1. Li section 2 and Li section 3 and close the UL tag. Here we can create these three sections. Now inside the section 1 there is the ordered list. So after section 1 we have to write down OL type is equals to A and here we can find the sequence AB. Okay. Then Li introduction, Li tag close, Li differentiation, Li tag close, and then oval tag close. So, this is the example of multi label nested list. Then close the body tag, close the HTML tag, and save this program with the name multi label.html. Now, we, we move further. For inline frame. We used iframe tag to create the inline frame. Inline frame are often used in online advertising where the content of the iframe is an advertisement for an external pattern. An inline frame is used to embed another document within the current HTML document. There are attributes of iframe. Five attributes are there. First, SRC which specify address of the document to be embedded in the iframe. Second, height of the iframe. Third, width which specify width of the iframe. Fourth, name which specify name of the iframe. And last one is the SRC doc which specifies the HTML content of the page shown in the iframe. So let's see the example of the iframe. Here we can see the example of the iframe. Let's start with the doc type HTML. Next HTML tag. Next head tag. Next title tag. Inside the title tag, write iframe. Title tag close. So you can find on this output. This is the iframe title. Then head tag close. Then body tag. Then here we are using h3 tag for heading HTML iframe. 
and then p tag for just writing one line this is an example of iframe now we use here iframe tag with the attributes iframe first attribute src is equals to abc.html this abc.html is the html page which is loaded in the iframe next height is equals to 200 width is equals to 300 so you can see this is the height of the iframe with the 200 pixel this is the width of the iframe with the 300 pixel and then name you can give any name to your iframe then close the body tag and close the html tag and then save this notepad with the name iframe.html so you can get this output now we just see the abc.html coding so here is the abc.html coding this is again doc type html html tag head tag in the title again i am giving iframe title tag close head tag close and then body in the body there is pg color yellow and text blue so you can see here this is abc.html page that's why the pg color is yellow and text color is blue other part is not in the yellow color now only one line i am written over here this is the iframe whatever content you have to write you can write in this body file. body tag is close html tag is close and save this notepad with the name abc.html it should be in your same folder where you save your iframe.html this is the completion of iframe here we are completed with the list and iframe okay notes for these topics we can find in the description box below thank you so much